We can all remember heat waves of years gone by, the endless blue sky, the humidity, even the sight of the heat shimmering on the ground. But just what is the definition of a UK heat wave? Now, heat waves are not the same across the whole of the country, so we're going to need a map. And we need a temperature that we have to reach or exceed, a threshold. If we take a closer look at the map, we can see that the white area, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, much of Northern and Southwest England are in the area where the threshold is 25 degrees Celsius. The value rises to 26 Celsius from Lincolnshire across to Cheshire and down to Dorset. And then for the Midlands, East Anglia and the home counties, it's 27 Celsius and up to 28 Celsius in the London area. Now we've calculated this map by taking into account the way the average temperature varies across the country during the hottest part of summer. The thresholds are then set to be well above that. A heat wave needs to be something exceptional. But a heat wave isn't just one hot day. We have to reach or exceed these threshold temperatures for three days in a row to call it a heat wave. Okay, let's look at some examples. Say Cambridge, 26 degrees Celsius here for three days in a row. But because the threshold for Cambridgeshire is 27 Celsius, well, this wouldn't be a heat wave. Now let's say we're going to reach 28 Celsius in Swansea for a couple of days before it turns colder. The threshold for Glamorgan is 25 Celsius. But we call this a hot spell because it hasn't lasted long enough to be a heat wave. But then 25 degrees Celsius or more for three days in a row in Dundee, well that would be a heat wave because it's above the threshold and it's lasted long enough. Lots of people enjoy warm and sunny weather, but there can be serious health impacts when the temperature rises. We work closely with our partners to help keep the public safe when the mercury rises. <laughs>